going to be taking a look at how to create a site via Wix.com. Keep in mind, you can click on the link in the video description down below if you'd like to follow along step by step while you're creating your own site. And keep in mind that Wix is a WYSIWYG editor. It's a what you see is what you get editor. And the main purpose of this video is to walk you through how to navigate the interface, how to use the tools. I'm going to be creating a sample site. Uh, I'm going to call the site Foodie, just a food based site uh, centered around food, drinks, things of that nature. So the first thing you need to decide when you're creating your site is what kind of website you want to create. Do you want to create a business profile? Do you want to create a photography portfolio, e-commerce store, site for your restaurant, like restaurant front, uh, a blog, what have you. And the great thing about Wix is they offer a ton of templates from you to choose from that you know center around your category of website that you're trying to create or just kind of the style and design that you like and you want to kind of use as a cookie cutter template to go ahead and then from there add your own elements and change it up to of course fit your site. In this case, I'm just gonna go with a blank template, like a literally a blank canvas. That way I can just kind of show you how a lot of the tools work and how to go about you know, navigating the Wix interface here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on blank templates. I'm gonna use a start from scratch here and hit edit. And this is gonna take me directly into the Wix editor here. So here we are in the Wix editor. And as I mentioned, we're just using a very blank canvas today to create the site that I'm calling Foodie. Super simple, very visual site that I want to create here. And I have this kind of blank canvas to do that. But before I do that, let's mention the main three elements when using Wix. The very top is your nav bar. This is where you go ahead and add pages to your website. So if you want a contact page, an about us page, what have you, you would add them through here. You simply click add page, decide what type of link you want to add. If you want it to be a whole new page, if you want it just to be a link to your menu, a menu header. If I clicked on page here, it's gonna go ahead and create a whole new page and I can call it, for example, about. So now I'm on my about page. If I click on the home page, then I switch to the home page here. So whatever you have highlighted, that's the current page that you're editing. In this case, I have just a very simple about page. I'm gonna delete this because I don't want this. I just want it all on one page for the sample. Now on the right there, you have your site settings. So this is how you save your site. And I recommend doing that uh, as often as you can. Preview your site, uh, publish it and more. You have a tool settings here, your help menu and your upgrade menu. Next to that, you can actually zoom out of your site and get a preview of it, an overview, and reorder it as well. So very useful if you're using a template because you can actually reorder the elements to your liking. An undo and redo button. So if you accidentally delete something, uh, you can actually bring it back just using the undo button. And then lastly, you have the switch editor views. This allows you to switch views between mobile and desktop. Very, very useful because nowadays, sites tend to be you know viewed on different devices. And the great thing about Wix is it automatically makes it responsive so that your site works on whatever platform there is a tablet, phone, or desktop. All right, so that's the main nav bar. The left here is how you add any basic elements or just basic elements to your site. And then your right toolbar here is how you adjust those specific elements once added. So for example, here you have your background, page background, you have your add elements. This is the main one you're gonna be using when you're creating a site. You can add any element from text to images to shapes and social networking buttons, contact forms, and more. Uh, under that, you have a Wix app market. So this allows you to install third-party apps to your site. So if you want like a chat functionality built into your site for support, you can add that. Uh, to upload your own content. So if you want images, videos, music, docs added to your site and uploaded, you do that through here. And last but not least, if you want to set up a blog alongside your site, you can do that through the Wix blog functionality. Let's go ahead and start by just making a very basic text header here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click text. And as you see here, there's a ton of different options for text here. I'm just gonna go with a site title because that's what I wanna add here. And now that I've created that text element here, you can see my toolbar on the right here allows me to do certain things. I can duplicate it, I can delete it, change the alignment, change the size and position. So you can do all this manually or you can just kind of click and drag. So I can adjust it like this, just click, drag, adjust the size as I want, or again, manually input the dimensions that I want that to be. If I just double click on this, I now am gonna be able to control the site title here. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and just type in foodie, cause that's what I wanna call the site here. Highlight it again to change the font here to like a size 70 font. And we're gonna go ahead and bold that. And then now I'm just gonna drag it up here cause this is where I want, this is my header. So I'm attaching it to my header right now. So that 
uh, imaginary line right here is essentially your header and then down below here is your footer so those are the basic grids and from there let's go ahead and start adding on other elements so I'll click on again I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the add button here like I mentioned earlier it looks like I accidentally dropped in some text here so no problem I can click on it delete it go back here and let's go ahead and drop in a strip here I want a strip so I'm gonna go ahead and use a classic black strip here to kind of focus the main part of the content that I want viewed click on add again and let's go ahead and go through here and see what we have We have different options that we can add here we can add a menu so if you want a basic like nav bar menu you can add that but again I'm going for just a very minimal look here so I actually decided I want to add a gallery so I'm gonna go ahead and go here and see what gallery options they offer here it looks like there's a ton of different galleries that you can choose from here so I'm gonna just go with a, a basic slideshow gallery here. So I'm going to click on that. I think that'll look good with the strip here that we added. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it right here, attach it to the strip so it fits in nicely. And then just, again, uh, go ahead and resize it to my liking here. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust it there. I'm going to pull it farther there so we, we get a bigger stretch there. Same thing on that side. And then just, again, kind of fix the alignment of it there. And now I'm going to go ahead and re-enable that toolbar. And just like that, I've added my basic gallery. Now underneath that gallery, I'm gonna add a couple more elements. Let me just go ahead and drop in a couple more things here just to showcase what it would look like if I filled it out just a bit more. So as you can see, I decided to add this box element to the site here. And what I wanna do is create three of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it right here. And rather than having to manually drop three of the elements, I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna activate my toolbar so I can see this here and duplicate the element across. So I'm just gonna click on duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate again and now I have three boxes rather than having to again add multiple elements here with the exact same dimensions easily added to the site here and then now I've added the three container boxes here and all I'm going to do from here is simply add some text on top of that so let me go ahead and take a basic text layer here and then drop those over the boxes here so I'll just say uh, let's go with a small heading here and then I'm going to go ahead and disperse those across these three boxes All right, so I've now added those three basic buttons here, and I wanna add, lastly, a contact form down below, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill out that slideshow up top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on add again and find that contact uh, element that I wanna add in here, click on that, and then go ahead and click on it, and then it'll be dragged into my site here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it as needed. So now that we have that contact formatted, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more images here to make it visual. I'm gonna fill out the slideshow. And I decided that I like these boxes, but I'm gonna actually just replace them with images because it looks much more visual and appealing. And that's a great thing about Wix. You can easily just adjust elements of the site individually without ruining the rest of it here. So let's go ahead and add in all these images. With the slideshows or galleries, for example, you can go ahead and just upload your own images or use a source of Wix's preset stock images that they have for multiple categories. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these that are currently in the default uh, gallery here and then go ahead and replace them with food images. Now that I've had them added to the gallery, I can add captions or even add links to them as I'd like and then hit done here. And all the images are now added to my slideshow up here. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the other ones as well. So as you can see, I found a much better element to replace those three boxes with in text. More visual, we have another smaller slideshow right underneath it. And that's a great thing, again, about Wix. You have so many different options to play around with and redesign depending on how and where you want certain elements to be on your web page. Another thing I want to showcase here, while I decided to keep the site more minimal and just focus on the homepage, you can of course add a menu to add multiple pages, which is typically standard with most sites. So I'll have like a home page, maybe an about page, what have you. I decided to put the contact page on the home here. But as you can see here, they offer different menus. They have horizontal menus. You have all sorts of great styles that you can go ahead and check out. So for example, if I just want to add this very uh, common one here, I can add a themed menu. So I'll just go ahead and click on this one right here. 
And what this is going to do is going to go ahead and drop the uh, menu element here on my uh, site here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drag it up wherever I want to put it. So let's say I want to put it up here, attach it to the header, and then I'm just going to go ahead and move this site logo just a little bit above that. So let me go ahead and adjust that here. So it sits just right on top of that. I can go ahead and even reduce the size of this just a little bit here so I can go ahead and put it down. And then from there, it's going to pull from the pages that you have currently set up on your site. So right now it's just one home menu here. But for example, if I was to go into pages here and add a page, so we'll go ahead and add a page here, you can see automatically. So for example, if I had an about page here and I did another page, let's go ahead and say, uh, you know, common other pages might be blog or something of that nature. And as you can see, just like that, going back to the home page, now we have those three pages set up at the top there. So it pulls from the pages that you have set up on your site. Very easy, very simple. There's tons of different designs that you can choose from as far as your menu items color goes. So it's all up to you. Now, if I click on preview here, just like that, we now have a complete site. Super visual here. We have our pages at the top that I can navigate here. I have my slideshow that I set up. I have the little drink uh, menu that I set up here. Super visual, super nice. We have that contact form. And as you can see here, I also decided to drop in a line just to separate the footer there. So I kind of have a close to the site. But just like that, in a couple minutes, we were able to create a pretty decent site. Super visual, very minimal. However, of course, for your site, it's going to vary whatever it is, whether it's a business, a photography portfolio, maybe it's more text space, what have you. That's a great thing about Wix. You have the freedom to create whatever you want. And at the end of the day, it's that simple and easy to create a site with Wix.com.